Hi angels, welcome back to another DIY video. So in this video, we're gonna try. This is like our third attempt making a cyanotype, either tote bag or a shirt. Today, we're gonna be making a shirt. So the cyanotype I got from Amazon. I just have this tank top and my, what do you call it? Tencel I got from Amazon. My first kind of big mistake. I tape around the edges because I didn't want the cyanotypes to spread all over which it ended up spreading. It got underneath the duct tape and kind of completely ruined it. So the best way to apply it, I think, is just to use a paintbrush. The paintbrush is the best solution, honestly. I've used the little tiny brush and it left less, less of a mess. Oh my, let me close my windows. <laughs> Okay, after I've sprayed the cyanotype onto the shirt, I let it sit and dry for 24 hours. Now I'm just removing the tape all over the edges. All over the corner, I mean. Corner, edges, same thing. After I do that, then I'm going to place in between my stencil that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to put, well, I don't need to put nothing in between the shirt. I only did that when I was spraying on the cyanotype because I didn't want it to soak onto all of the shirt just the front after i do that i place a glass on top of it the glass right there then after i do that i just turn on my uv light and let it sit for like 40 to 60 minutes i let it sit on there like forever about like 10 to 20 minutes 10 to 20 minutes that's about fine but i just let it sit on there and go about my day and that's pretty much it after we finish, then we can just wash off everything and hope and pray that the image transferred on there perfectly. So yeah, that's that. Everything that I'm going to be using in this video, I'll leave a link for it down in the description box down below. It's pretty much the same thing. I know some people use photo negative, but I was unable to print any of my own or to get any, so I also saw these stencils and I was like, maybe that could work. And they're kind of working. I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Next, I think I'm going to try with some... I have some flowers, some dry flowers, and I also have some seashells. So hopefully those will look cute on like a shirt or a tote bag. Whichever one will work best. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Well, you guys get the idea. You guys are not seeing anything that's happening here. So we can just fast forward. I'm going to show you guys what happened when I started to wash it off with some water. Oh, so after a few minutes, I wanted to see how it would look. So I removed the glass and I lift up the stencil and I saw that it was transferring on there perfectly. So I was like, okay, let me just leave it on there for like a few more minutes. And then I can just wash it off. Make sure to line it back up there perfectly. And then we are good to go. That's pretty much it. And don't forget to put back the glass on top. Just let it sit. Work its little magic. What's happening now? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Voila, this is how it looks. I'm going to turn off the UV light so you guys could see it better, but it looks fine so far. And you can see that it only transferred to one side, which is good. Now we can just wash it off with some cold water. So I put a little bit of some soap on there, and I'm going to put that in the cold water run on there for like five minutes. 
one to two minutes would be perfectly fine or until my hands feel completely numb. So I'm just going to be washing it, scrubbing it until I think the color that we're seeing right now is green. Until all the, the green is completely out of the shirt and we are good to go. Just scrubbing it, squeezing out all of the water. I'm just checking the image and trying to figure out what is all that little dot on top. But after I let it sit and I realized that it was dry, I sprayed a little bit more cyanotype on top. And I guess that part did not dry as well. Maybe that's why there's some spot on there. I am not sure. But you can see that the water is clear, so everything is good. Now I'm just going to let this sit and dry. You can just throw it in the dryer, but as always, let it air dry. This is how it looks. The image turned out great. It's just the corners. That just looks a mess. And I just have it outside in the sun, hanging from my balcony, and it looks pretty good. I'm gonna try it on to show you guys how it looks. Okay, so this shirt is now fully dried and everything, and this is how it looks. The image transferred on there perfectly. I love the way how it turned out. I just love the way how it turned out. It looks so cute. I'm still thinking about cutting like the bottom of it. So it could be a little shorter, but it's fine for now. So yeah, this is how it turned out. I love it, obviously. Yeah, giving myself a little thumbs up. <laughs> I'm so happy, trust me. Some of these turned out good, some of them did not turn out that great. So for the first shirt to turn out good, I'm pretty excited. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully I will see you guys in my next YouTube video. Well, that's it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Alright, bye guys.